president. America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. Death Stranding, go check it out. The game's badass. If you're into the style of stuff, you'll definitely like it. I'm Dragonov, and uh, today we got a new game that came out it's called Death Stranding, if you haven't heard about it, uh, and it, it seems pretty uh, unique so far, nothing short of an actual fever dream. Uh, I'll try to get you some gameplay. It seems to be like an open world, uh, you're basically a FedEx boy in a dystopian universe world. Um, and you're going to see the president of the United States of America. The last one. Uh, the beginning of the game is a whole lot of watching and not a lot of playing, but it's totally worth it because I never played a game or seen a movie or anything that has a storyline point. Like, definitely worth looking into. I'll try to get you some gameplay here. So it's got like your health bar and your status bar like normal, but it has an interesting uh, mechanic where when you have weight, uh, you have to balance as you're running. I'll see if I can show you guys, but you have your right hand and your left hand balance. Got compass mode. There's a lot of transferring back and forth between uh, first person and third person, it seems. So the compass mode right here has a pretty cool feature where you can jump to your target and it'll basically set you running in the direction of your target. It is open world environment, so I mean, you can climb on stuff, open things, like run around. You got this little scanner, you can look for boxes. Um, you pretty much go around collecting deliveries to deliver and making sure deliveries get done. Um, and it appears from when I played in the prologue that the level up system is based off of your performance and not what you choose. So however you choose to do the mission decides how you level up. It also at the beginning asks for uh, your birthday, which puts you under like an astrological sign and gives you benefits, I think, in certain categories. I haven't really played enough. I'm still right at the beginning. Uh, maybe we can develop this video a little bit longer and see where it goes depending on how much time I can put in. So far, pretty much everything about this game seems very unique. Enter Norman Reedus. The same way. No chance of a recovery then? None that I can see, no. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't have a fucking clue Sense what's happening right -hand man. in this game. The director of but it's awesome. Love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. What the fuck is going on? If I'm understanding what's happening right, I'm pretty sure that you just went to go meet the President of the United States. Turns out it was your mother. 
and she basically enslaved you to the cause to rebuild the United States. And now you have to go cremate her dead body as part of the contract that she Can I have forced you into unwillingly. President Strand believed in America. So that her body doesn't detonate and blow up to bring what's left of the United again. States. And without her, because of some crazy be ass disease that's happened. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. Huh. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't offer <laughs> the irony. Humanity will <clears throat> Don't forget to uh drink Ray's energy while you safe. try to play this game. It's very entertaining. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Whoa! You have to balance yourself. So if you're running and you shift your weight too much, you gotta like grab on to something. Either hold on it with your right hand, your left hand, or both hands. You kind of center your gravity like right, right there. Crazy. Very uh, unique. If you're not careful when you're looking around, you start losing your balance. Ooh, don't want to damage that cargo. Walking with an atomic bomb on my back, basically. Uh, great soundtrack. Give me some uh, water bears to eat later. Hopefully this doesn't get demonetized because of this song in the game. Just so everyone knows it is a song in the game when I'm playing. I'm just going to record it and we're going to play. Literally just walking. I'm gonna go this way. This is like a hyper advanced version of the Oregon Trail. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I'm paying attention to the scenery. I'm just gonna follow my ass over here. And probably stop running. So, I don't know if these ladders are like community built or whatever, but uh, they're gonna make life a lot easier. So you can scan your terrain right here and see like what's safe to walk on and what's not. Let's see that if I trip over that rock right there. It's literally a walking simulator. Intriguing. Hmm. Walking with a dead body on my back. Oh, made it just in the nick of time on that one. Oh shit, look at all of them. So 
so weird. I think I'm good. Woo! That was scary. Made it away from the nasty monsters. Now we're just running out in the free wildness. We can double jump now. Get some more badass tunes. What's that over there? Is this okay? Just soothing the baby that's plugged into me that tells me where the bad guys are. Hey, guy. Weird. Sam, I thought I told you dunes and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <laughs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. I was flipping him off inside the case. As you look said, at it. I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. Oh, BB. Always gotta put your sunglasses on. Shame they aren't pit vipers. What the fuck? I'm not gonna ruin the story for you. You are Sam Strand. Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, strand. A strand is part of a rope or bond, while 
Stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Hmm. There's a lot going on in this game. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around exactly what's happening. So, bear with me and... And I'm about to go walk across the fucking country. I've pretty much become Forrest Gump at this point. Starting to. <clears throat> so there doesn't seem like really a better place to uh, end this video, so to speak. I'm actually carrying a bomb on my back when I was joking about carrying a bomb on my back at the beginning. Uh, now I've legit got an antimatter bomb on my back. Um, oh, that's nice water. Now watch your stamina. Um. It's a very tense mission. Um. <clears throat> so so far, I put about thirty hours into this game, and I still stand by the fact that it may be one of the most unique games that I've played. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I've decided to rate it on five categories overall. Well, six counting the overall rating. Um, I think the first of those categories is going to be the quality. So the amount of time and effort that was put into this game to make it a good game and have a product that is playable and ready when it came out and just like its overall polish... I'm going to give it a four for quality. Like, it is, it's a pretty damn good game. Um, graphics are good. Everything's amazing. Um, so the next category I would rank it on is creativity and how unique it is. Definitely a five. Like, the storyline, like, I, I can't even explain the storyline. I could do multiple videos on the lore in this game and still have things to talk about. Which I might. I don't know. Let me know in the comment sections. But I definitely give it a 5 out of 5. For concept and uniqueness. So the functionality and gameplay, I would probably say um, I'm sitting around a four out of five on the actual functionality and gameplay. It's getting better the farther the game goes. Like you're, I'm, I'm like at least halfway through the storyline before I even started getting actual guns. And I, I mean, I'm like, I guess I classify games by like having guns too much because you didn't really need them. But definitely a four out of five for functionality and gameplay. Like. It's just different. And the next category I ranked it on, uh, just because I did stream this game, I asked my viewers that watched it regularly what what they would rate it as far as their watch value for it, how much they like watching it. And it is a walking simulator, and I did a whole lot of walking. Uh, the story, the cinematics are great and everything, but there is a lot of walking, especially when I was streaming. I was at a part of the game where I had to do a lot of missions to uh, progress. So... I got a 3.5 out of 5 for the watch value from them, but they also were saying cinematically it would be a 5 out of 5. And last, but most certainly not least, the thing that most gamers are going to be worried about nowadays is, was it worth it? Was, was the amount I paid worth the game? And absolutely it was. I bought this game for like $24.99 on Steam or something like that. Five out of five worth it. I mean, what what do you want for 25? If I put 100 hours into a game I spent $25 on, you're telling me that's not worth it and I still enjoy it and I don't have a bad taste in my mouth afterwards? That's a fucking cliff.
Um, I'll kind of just play through the rest of this mission and we see if we make it. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Probably stay below the snowfall. It's just scary to go down this hill right here. We're gonna go and put on our power skeleton. I'm a trailblazer. We're just going to go right over the top. Fuck it. We're going to go right here. The way of the road. Oh, there's going to be some BT trouble up here, but that's okay. I'm curious. This used to be like a ski resort or something. What's up here? We got some time fall going on down here, it looks like. What the fuck is this, bro? We made it! Watch me trip and fall at the end! Go get it. Do it for yourself. 